With the brand new release of the 504X by Manfrotto, what better time is there to talk about your next tripod? When we spoke to Manfrotto at IBC, they had just announced their new fast tripod system. The name fast comes from their super quick usability. You can open a latch and pop open the full length of the tripod with just one click. It's similar in a way to the Flowtech that we reviewed a while back. And when I say reviewed, I mean dunked in one of the saltiest waters on the earth, the Dead Sea. Link to that in the description, by the way. The Flowtech was our first experience with this kind of mechanism, and we absolutely loved it. The fast system is very similar, but there are a few improvements and things you should know about that make this a really great product. This head is replacing one of the all-time video favorites, the old 504 HD. It feels like a huge jump though. I'm seeing high-end features integrated into this head and I'm really digging it. For example, the knobs to adjust the fluid drag tension are now cinegrade, they're de-clicked. Just kidding. But instead of having like levels one to five, like most tripods do, you can fine tune it to your liking with a pretty smooth knob. This applies to the pan and the tilt and it's separate from the locking knob. You can see the attention to detail is incredible here. Starting with the legs and going all the way up. Take the spreader for example. The spreader for the tripod can be adapted to three positions, high, low, and floor, and all in one spreader. This is great because with some systems, you're forced to buy a mid-level or a floor spreader. The fast legs come with a spreader that's ready for any use case, including a third option to open the legs a little wider. The tripod also comes ready to be fitted with either a 75 or a 100 millimeter bowl. So it's ready to have any head mounted to it right out of the box. Moving on to the head. The rosette for the handle is on both sides. Okay, that's a given. But now you can attach your accessories to the other side where you don't have a handle. What really bought me is that Manfrotto didn't just lock you into their own anti-rotation system. Instead, they also provide RE locking pins as well. There's even tiny reminders all over the head that let you put replacement screws for when you forget, need, or don't need an extra screw. Not to mention a super sexy deep engraving of the 504X logo. I don't know why every product name with an X just sounds sexier by default. In terms of height, the system is very close to the Mvitwinga system at 61.8 inches maximum height, but it goes significantly lower with the 10.6 minimum height. Being able to put a camera so low provides some great angles. The weight of both tripods is very similar, but on the head side, the 504X is about two pounds lighter, but able to carry 10 pounds more at 26.5 pounds. We tested this combo with a pretty sizable rig, including a black magic, cine lens, some V-locks, a Shogun, the whole nine yards. And at this load, it was a pleasure to work with. Let's talk a little bit about the head. The head has been really surprising to me. Coming from the Flowtech and having started with a 501 and knowing that this sits under the Nitrotech, I kind of set my expectations accordingly. And let me tell you, I love being proved wrong. The video head is a beast, it can handle the weight, it's intuitive, it has a robust feature list, and it's considered pretty affordable. As we mentioned before, the head features locking mechanisms that are separate from the tension control. It has a four step counterbalance to control the speed at which it returns to the leveled position when tilting. Now there's a couple of things we do need to talk about. I'll just be transparent here and say, using the Flowtech has kinda spoiled me. And I think that without having experienced the Flowtech in all its glory, I probably would only have a couple of minor things to say about the tripod. But I am using the Flowtech, and there are a few things I wish that this line would adopt. First of all, carrying the tripod. I mentioned in a Flowtech review that the handle is a godsend. And now that it's been taken away, every production I've had to lift this tripod, either open or closed, my wrists cried. Speaking of things I missed from the Flowtech, the magnetic legs. Sure, the 645 has the plastic clippy thingies that attach the legs to one another, but it feels more cumbersome than magnets. I will say this though, we were all really surprised in the studio to see that when we leaned on the Flowtech, it kind of started to cave. The fast 645 legs on the other hand, did not. So what do we have here? We have a fast, strong, and robust system with high-end features despite the price point. I think this system deserves heaps of praise, and if you're in the market for a new tripod, you should definitely go out and get yourself one for $1,300.
So that wraps up today's video. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing for some more awesome news and content. I'm Adam Frimmer from DIYphotography.net and I'll be seeing you in the next video.